resisted. This is the shear force carried by one flange. So visualize the two flanges resisted the shear force value is 2 into 1070 means 2140 Newton only shear force is resisted out of 40,000 Newton. The total shear force acting on a section is of 40,000 Newton, but the flange is ticking. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm going to take only 2000 Newton only. So, what is the remaining value? The remaining value will be taken care by the web itself. So, hence the total shear carried by the web is equal to 40,000 minus twice into 10708.6 uh, and we find out 37858.8 newton this much huge shear resisted by the web so i wish you have understood this problem very well and let us we go with the unsymmetrical sections The shear stress distribution for unsymmetrical section, specifically T section, L section, sum of the I section, the shear stress can be found out at other sections. Only the point is to be remembered that we have to found out the first of all the CG of the section because of the unsymmetry. That's all. Because at the CG, the maximum shear stress that we know hence we have to find out first of all cg so let us take a simple problem and try to understood how we can find out or how we can draw the shear stress distribution diagram the shear force acting on a beam is 50 kilo newton the section of the beam is of t-shaped of dimension 100 mm cross 100 mm cross 20 mm the moment of inertia about the horizontal neutral axis is given by 314.21 into 10 raised to 4 millimeter raised to 4 calculate the shear stress at the neutral axis and at the junction of the web and the flange here indirectly the thing which has been asked to plot the shear stress distribution diagram because the shear stress at the neutral axis they have been asked also they have been asked to find out at the junction what will be the variation of shear stress in the flange portion what will be the variation of the shear stress in the flange portion so now the given data f is equal to 50 kilo newton moment of inertia which has been given to you and the figure for the T section which has been given to you. Intention is to found out first the center of gravity or centroid of the section. <laughs> Refer the figure first. 100 that is the top width of the flange. Overall depth which is also given as 100 mm. 20 mm which has been given to us as the thickness of flange and the thickness of web these two are the same thickness which has been given to us now uh, i can find out the depth of the web as overall depth minus the thickness of flange so 100 minus 20 that is the 80 mm which we can find out very simply way as a available depth of a web so, to find out the centroid of a section, let us divide the T section into two parts. The first top rectangle as a flange, this bottom rectangle as a web. And using our basic formula, that is A1 Y1 plus A2 Y2 divided by A1 plus A2, we can find out the value of Y top or Y bottom respect. Let us perform it. Let us y bar is the distance of the CG of the section from the top of the flange 
where y bar is equal to a1 y1 plus a2 y2 divided by a1 plus a2 where a1 is the area of a flange that is 100 into 20 a2 is the area of wave that is 18 to 20 y1 is the distance of the cg of the area of flange to the reference axis and the reference axis is right now is the top of the flange so my y1 is nothing but the 20 by 2 that is of 10 mm while y2 is equal to the distance of cg of wave to the top of the flange that is 80 by 2 plus 20. so if you want to understood let us withdraw a figure on this tabletop so this is the given section to us Now, this is of 100 mm, this is of 20 mm, this is once again 20 and this is of, this is how it is of 80. Now, as this is my first part, this is my second part and this top which has been taken as reference axis. y1 is nothing but the this cg to this top part is y1 this is cg this reference axis is y2 so y1 is equal to 20 by 2 y2 is equal to this part that is 80 by 2 plus this part plus 20 so putting all this value in a simple equation we can find out the y bar as 32.22 mm that is the distance from the neutral axis to the top of the flange now here let us the first of all first portion that is the shear stress distribution in the flange it is fundamentally known that the shear stress is zero at the top of the flange and the bottom of the wave. It means at the top of the flange and at the bottom of the wave, the value of shear stress is zero. So shear stress at the junction of the flange and the wave is given by tau is equal to F A Y bar by I B F value. 50 kilo newton 50,000 newton which has been given to us a area of flange 100 into 20 y bar distance of the cg of the area of flange from the neutral axis that is 32.22 minus 20 by 2 that is 22.22 mm that is my y bar b is the width of flange that is of 100 and we found out the value of tau as 50,000 into a y bar divided by i b putting all the value we found out 7.08 newton per mm square. Now if you have a doubt about the y bar let us be understood over here in this figure given section which is of t section. Now, I have taken care the variation over here, 0 is over here, I want to find out some value over here and hence I have to take the area of full flange, this is my neutral axis, the value from this top is 32.22 and the CG is over here. To the neutral axis is my y bar so y by i can get as minus this thickness divided by 2 
proceed further so we found out the tau is 7.08 mega pascal and this variation is shown like this and this value is 7.08 we already know in case of a simple eye section for any kind of the web and the flange section here sudden changes will be available. So now intention is to find out this value. Shear stress distribution in the web. The shear stress at the junction of flange to web will be suddenly increased from 7.08 to 7.08 multiply by width of flange to the width of the web means B by B into 7.08 this B that is of 100 this B that is 20 so this is our B and this is our capital B and we found out this value as 35.4 this is my neutral axis this is the variation so we found out this value as 35.4 megapascal now, the shear stress is maximum at neutral axis, hence shear stress at neutral axis is given by tau is equal to F A Y bar by I B where A Y bar is equal to as the neutral axis lies on the wave and the area above the wave means the two different parts which has been encountered the first part that is a flange another part that is the web so a y bar is equal to moment of area about neutral axis about neutral axis is, is equal to moment of area of flange about neutral axis plus moment of area of web about neutral axis the two summations we have to do right now now please refer the figure for that i want to find out the value of shear stress at the neutral axis so i have to take care of all these areas a y bar so by taking two different parts this is my first part this is my second part area of flange is known to you 100 into 20 y bar y bar is nothing but distance of cg of the area from the first part to the reference that is of neutral axis that means area that is of 100 into 20 y bar is equal to 32.22 minus 20 by 2 this is these are the two different values a y bar for the first portion for second portion a is equal to this is the area and that is nothing but 20 into 32.22 minus 20 overall minus 20 I can get this value and I find out the area y bar is nothing but the cg of this area to the neutral axis and that is nothing but 32.22 minus 20 is the total divided by 2 so the same thing please refer on this ppt 20 into 100 the first area multiply by 32.22 minus 20 by 2 that is 10 y bar plus 20 into 32.22 minus 10 that is nothing but the area into 22.22 divided by 2 please bear instead of this 10 this is 20 be careful because I have to deduct total depth of the flange so we found out the value of a y bar 
we know the value b at the neutral axis is 20 putting all these values 50000 into a y bar these values divide by i which has been given to us and b 39.3 mega pascal so finally we can plot the shear stress distribution diagram over here carefully visualize 35.285 value is over here so now from the today's session we learned the two different things how to draw the shear stress distribution diagram for symmetrical i sections and how to draw or how to tackle unsymmetrical section like t section we will solve more numericals related to unsymmetrical section in the next session. Please read, find difficulty, ask the questions. Thank you.